Very good. Welcome, everybody. So excited to have you here. Um, good evening to those of you um, in Kenya. Um, my name is Liz Hallen with Dynamic Seizure Group, and we're all very excited to be hosting you for this Doug meetup this evening. Um, it is morning time for me, but I know it's evening for you. Huge thanks to Francis for um, hosting today and being our leader for this wonderful group. If you've not heard of Doug or Dynamics User Group, um, I wanted to just take a quick minute and explain and tell you a little bit about who we are and what we do. Um, we are a community that supports Dynamics 365, Dynamics GP, as well as the Power Platform. Um, and while we have been around a while, um, you've probably seen us most recently within the last few years as we have grown um, with full-time employees as well as a community of 42,000 community members worldwide. Our program and membership is free and um, it is for you as an individual. We are, one of our core missions here is to just ensure that the whole community gets access to free education, training, learning, and networking, uh, really to help all of you grow and thrive in your careers and your professional and personal lives. Um, the way that we do that is through many programs, one of which is the meetups that you're on now. We do have online discussion forums. Um, we have a pretty robust YouTube channel with about 700 um, educational videos there, many of which have come from one of our other programs, Dynamics on Virtual. Uh, we have a skill up on demand training program. Uh, that is one of our programs that does have a fee associated with it. Um, the classes there are provided by certified trainers, um, and we do share those revenue, um, the revenue from those classes with those trainers. Our newest program is webinars, um, also free education and training and on demand, and also available on our YouTube channel. Um, this is for those in the US, so I'm not gonna spend a ton of time on this, but we are hosting some larger Doug regional meetups um, across North America this year. Uh, if you're able to join us in the U.S. for our Dynamics Con Live conference, we would love to have you May 13th to the 16th in Denver, Colorado. Um, I know this is maybe a bit of a stretch for, for many of you, uh, but I hope someday that you'll all be able to join us because it is a fantastic event. And this year we're expecting 2,000 people. Um, I do have a promo code here if you're thinking about coming, we would love to host you. And our ticket prices are gonna go up on March 18th. Um, a little bit closer to home though is Dynamics Con or Dynamics Minds. This is not a conference that we host, but we are partnering very closely with them um, for this event that's happening May 27th to the 29th in Slovenia in Europe. Um, and they do have a 20% discount code for you as well. Um, also a really great community conference for you to be there and join. And if traveling is not an option for you, we are also very happy to be hosting Dynamics Con virtual again. This will be our sixth virtual event. Um, it is free and it will be a full day of content. Um, and what's unique about this event is our content is submitted by and voted on by the community. And the top voted sessions are the ones that you will see on the agenda um, this coming November. Um, that is what I have. I know we don't have a lot of time today, so I will um, turn it back over to you, Francis, so that we can get right to the content that everybody is so excited to hear about today. OK, yeah, thank you, Liz, for that brilliant intro for those who don't know Liz she's the one who has been supporting us all through so if you are new to Dynamics user group you should meet Liz I think Liz you should share your LinkedIn so that people can connect with you and be Absolutely. able to to get to know more about uh, Dynamics user group for those who are not aware and maybe the social media platforms all of them on the chat that will help all right, so let's go straight to today's uh, agenda. We are looking at Dynamics 365 customer engagement, and we have Noel Kipiegon, who is a highly skilled and 
Re results oriented Dynamics 365 consultant with extensive experience in delivering successful implementations and optimizing business processes. He has a proven track record on providing strategic guidance and technical expertise to clients across various industries and he is adept at translating business requirements into effective solutions and driving digital initiatives has a strong knowledge of microsoft technologies and a passion for staying up to date with industry trends so today noel will be covering dynamics 365 customer engagement and over to you noel yeah, thank you so much uh Francis for that uh, introduction. So um, today we are looking into uh, uh, Dynamics uh, 365 customer engagement. Um, so I will share at least our presentations so that at least we can have a, a quick view of it and, uh, so that we can we can follow up. So I uh, welcome everyone uh, for this session. So just give it a just hold on a sec. Yeah, good. Good, good. So um I think yeah, we are good to proceed. So um hello and welcome to this session on uh, Dynamics 365 customer engagement. So in this session, we will learn about Dynamics uh, 365 customer engagement, look into how this powerful uh, platform uh, can help businesses uh, build better customer relationships that is and um how we can also use this tool or rather this platform um anywhere anywhere that is uh, what we're going to look at uh, later on um follow following this the slides to the end so we will also ca cover some some of the learning essentials to get you started uh, with our customized uh, systems that is in terms of our customer customer engagement so um i believe uh, so far you can hear me uh francis Yes, we can hear yes, you and we can see your screen. Thank you, thank you. So the agenda of today is outlined as, as follows. So we're going to introduce uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 CE and um, get to see the key benefits and features. Uh, we look at the customer customer journey tools, um, uh, building and, and later on uh, building customer customer relationships. So um, first of all, let, let 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 us picture this. Yeah, you walk into a you you walk into a store. And um, it could be a hardware, it could be a grocery, depend, it could be a grocery store, or it could be a clothing store. And then you get there, and then the staff greets you by name, uh, knows your preferences, and suggests the best product just for you. So that is the essence of customer engagement and how uh, Dynamics customer engagement uh, drives these personalized experiences. So customer engagement isn't just about selling. It's about uh, building that trust with the customer and uh, also building that uh, loyalty, lo loyalty that is. So Dynamics 365 customer engagements now brings all these pieces together into one seamless platform. Um, what I mean by all these pieces is um, we have sales. We'll, we, we'll, also, we'll also come to see later on on uh, sales. We'll, we'll see about uh, marketing. We'll see about um, customer service, field service and so on and what have you. These these uh, tools makes it easier for businesses to connect with their customers in a meaningful way. So um, let's let's look at uh, what exactly are we talking about when we say Dynamics uh, 365 customer engagement. So it's a uh, of course it's a Microsoft uh, platform, uh, cloud based platform, and it provides a set of applications and services for managing customer interactions across the entire customer journey. So when, when you when you just uh, hear customer engagement, it is something to do with customer. And um, there is a customer engagement journey all through from from when they when they are leads, even before they become a customer, all the way uh, through sales, all the way through uh, field service and customer service. So um, these, these, these all uh, tools are encompassed under customer engagement. So um, as we can see, it helps organizations manage their customer interactions. Uh, it, it, it also streamlines processes and enhances uh, customer experiences. So um, let's break it down into the features. Um, looking, look, look, looking at the features of uh, what customer engagement has. 
So first of all, we're looking at a platform that is that has all everything in one place. You don't have to juggle through uh, different tools and systems. Everything you need is right here. So uh, Dynamics uh, 365 is an uh, all-in-one platform for businesses. It's a it's a single platform, as we, as we, as, as you can tell by uh, customer engagement. But um, with this platform, you can manage your sales pipeline. You can run market. Uh, you can run uh, targeted marketing campaigns, that is, and provide high high end uh, customer service towards the end. Um, over time, we'll have data. We'll have customers uh, in the system. So, customer engagement allows you to Dynamics 365 customer engagement allows you to create personalized uh, interactions with the customers. This is the automation and optimization of businesses, business process to increase efficiency and uh, customer satisfaction. Let's let's uh, imagine when you're receiving an email uh, from from a company and you feel like this email is just was just written for you. So that's that's the power of Dynamics 365 uh, customer engagements. It helps businesses uh, create personalized experience for their customer, whether it's recommending best products based on past purchases and even sending discounts uh, in in events that are significant to the customer. Uh, let's say when when is the anniversary? It can send it can send um, a personalized email um, for, for your for your anniversary for for a discount that is. Um, so um, integrate it, the, the other the other one is uh, the integration that uh, Microsoft product has. So um, the extensibility and the uh, customization of uh, Microsoft, Microsoft uh, Dynamics 365 it plays well when we have different uh, users working on things together in terms of communication, in terms of development. So we have Microsoft Teams uh, ready for communication. So it it allows everyone to at least. Uh, Talk the same language while, while while doing the development and even following up with um, with customers. Power platform is an online; it's a cloud-based platform. So all these seamlessly integrates with our Microsoft products. Um, we have we have Outlook, we have Excel, that is um, Office Office 365. Uh, we have Teams. So all these make it easier, makes it easier to collaborate uh, and share information across uh, your organization. There's no more. There's no more using one, uh, one tool at a go uh, for for every particular particular engagement. AI, uh, Microsoft Dynamics 365 has leveraged AI and analytics to gain insights and personalized customer experiences. Dynamics 365, of course, is powered by AI. Uh, it's like having a virtual assistant that helps you make smarter decisions. So. At any one given time, you want to predict. Uh, you want to predict if a certain lead is going to be a customer. Of course, by the interaction, you will see over 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 time using the data that you've interacted with uh, with this customer if they are going to be a customer later on. So AI comes in to take to take the guesswork, as in just guessing that this person is going to be a customer. No, so AI comes out comes in for you uh, for. For you as a company, for 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 that uh, business that you are you are in, and um, it takes the guess guesswork and it gives you the the best recommendation. The other one is uh, in terms of accessibility, mobile and uh, web access. They work seamlessly across uh, all these devices. This, this Dynamics 365. So we are going to look later up about uh, accessibility. So let's uh, go to the tools. Tools available for. For the customer journey. So, as I said, uh, Microsoft encompasses quite a number of tools. So we have uh, from from sales, from um, marketing. So th there's a key aspect in Dynamics 365 customer engagement. It is nurturing customer relationships. You can use various tools and features to engage with, with your customers at every stage of the of the customer journey. For example, you can use marketing to create a to create and execute campaigns. So um, at any one given time, executing uh, campaigns be becomes easier, generating leads, and later on tracking marketing performance. Sales app uh, is used to manage uh, opportunities, quotes, orders, uh, invoices, and sales and sales goals. Um, we have customer service app uh, that handles uh, cases. So any cases that come in through uh, through customer service app, they can be processed 
any service request later, um, any feedback and service. Of course, there's this is an interaction of a customer on a on a portal. So whenever whenever the whenever there's a portal and a customer accesses the portal, logist cases, and it can be it can also be used uh, internally. That is uh, for for businesses. Field service field service app. It is used to schedule and dispatch technicians manage work orders and assets and track and, and, and also track assets. Um, a project service automation app uh, is used to deliver project based uh, services and um, manage resources and also uh, track track cost. Of course, all these are run with a, a, uh, everything that encompasses uh, the the uh, customer engagement. We have a power platform, we have power automate uh, that that helps helps all these uh, processes uh, run seamlessly. Um, as, as, um, as we are working with customer engagement, uh, Dynamics 365 customer engagement, data, data that is our uh, customer data, is a new goal right now. This th That is what uh, they say. And Dynamics 365 helps businesses strike it, stri strike it rich. It gathers data from every interaction, from emails, from websites, uh, website visits to social media engagements, and turns it into actionable insights. This, all this helps you know your customer better. It predicts uh, what, what exactly they need, and, and, it, and it helps businesses stay one step ahead of the, of the competition. One of the key aspects of uh, customer engagement is data management. You can store and manage all customer data in a secure and scalable uh, cloud database. So this database, um, we have it uh, online called uh, a Dataverse. So Dataverse allows you to create and customize entities. Entities are tables, are fields, are relationships, um, workflows, and uh, even business rules. You can also use uh, Power Apps to build custom apps. So these custom apps uh, that are available on uh, Power Apps are model-driven canvas um, in Power Pages sites. So uh, the, the, these these are these are these are apps that are accessible either through the phone. Uh, you can use your both Android uh, both Android and iOS uh, the, uh, iOS uh, operating systems. You can even use uh, tablets uh, to access uh, these apps. So Power Apps can interact with a number of data sources. So uh, it's not only limited to what we have is a database. Dataverse. You can you can integrate it with uh, Excel um, Excel files stored online. Uh, you can you can you can use SharePoint list and libraries. Uh, common data services. So com common data services are phased out uh, to 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 input um, database. That is. So uh, this this is where all the entities and pick list are. Um, the other one is Azure SQL database tables. Um, basically, SQL server in, in the cloud. Um, we have our uh, pops. Uh, we have also MySQL. You can integrate. You can connect it to MySQL, our PostgreSQL databases. Additionally, it can connect to Azure Cosmos DB and and uh, other Azure Azure resources. Uh, we have and all these uh, bring up. A way that you can report, or you you can create, uh, you can you can be able to create insights that are used uh, to that are used for. Sorry, uh, Sh Shasha, you have a question. Okay. So. That, so all these all these uh, insights are, are used in order to manage your customers well, and of course uh, th th you're going to uh, with this data you can build a uh, visual uh, visual trends or visual charts that are uh, that will help you uh, stay ahead of uh, of the competition. Um, the other thing we're going to look up into is um, customer in customer engagements is uh, where we have the productivity everywhere. Or anywhere rather, so uh, it, you can access. There are different. There are, there are a lot of ways where you can access our uh, customer engagement. Uh, so customer engagement also enables you to product to be productive anywhere. You can access um, customer engagement that is Dynamics uh, 365 customer engagement from any web browser. Uh, it could be your mobile device. It could be your tablet. It could be your your computer. You can access our uh, customer engagement. You can also integrate Dynamics uh, customer engagement with Outlook to to sync contacts tasks and um, appointments, emails, and, and what have you, uh, that is for the clients in order in order to reach out to the client um, easily. 
Uh, you can also use Outlook add-ins to perform common actions such as uh, creating creating records, uh, tracking emails, and even converting emails to cases at any one given point. Uh, that is uh, for Outlook. Now, uh, let me let me paint a picture. Let me paint a picture um, that we can easily we can easily uh, relate. So, uh, given given a small bakery bakery where uh, cakes are being created. You can use uh, Dynamics 365 to custom to to track customer orders, to track customer orders and preferences, depending on the depending on the test. Um, it could be vanilla, it could be any other test. By sending personalized offers and the reminders, customers will see that increase in repeat business. So th this is this is something that is uh, that is um, usable or you can consider a, a global corporation that streamlined its sales process using dynamics 365 resulting to higher productivity and of course happier customers as we look into the future the possibilities are endless for dynamics 365 because it constantly evolves with new features and innovation on the horizon so so far um what what will come later is um chatbots which uh, that has already been uh, integrated you don't have to interact to uh, to with customers directly but you use chatbots chatbots to provide instant support to virtual reality experiences that bring us that that brings uh products to life the future of customers engaging engagement is exciting and uh, full of promises um the other screen i think I'll, I'll show you a quick sample of how a field service looks like so this, this is just an example of a, of a field service and it has it has all the field service app it has all the tools that um, will get you ready uh, to set up either it, either by creating orders work orders um by scheduling work orders, uh, by creating accounts that are being used you can also book uh, you can see from the from the farthest left uh, there are there are different uh, there are different um, entities that are being used. Work orders, uh, scheduling, scheduled board bookings, and so on. And what have you? So all these all these are customizable on um, on this platform. And talking of customizability, uh, Microsoft Dynamics uh, 365 customer engagement is very is very customizable in terms of uh, the business requirements for the user. So it must not be work orders, the other users who, who can call something else, um, uh, say job orders or something. So this is how, uh, from there you can customize it according to the to the customer's needs. And you can also customize uh, the emails that are being sent out automatically uh, to to suit the business needs. Um, the, other, the other example is uh, Pages, Power Pages site. It's a it's a tool under Microsoft Dynamics uh, customer engagement, where we it is a, it is an external portal where you can have your customers log in and uh, lodge cases. Um, that is uh, for uh, for customer service uh, app, and um, at least from there you can you can work on the cases uh, comfortably. Those are just examples. I think uh, if at all you, you, you have a question, you'll ask, you'll ask it later. OK, so uh, let's look at um, how to get you started, how to get um, you as a developer, as a, as a business owner uh, started. So um, for, for Microsoft, they usually provide uh, uh, resources online, of course. Um, if you want to learn, if if you want to learn more about um, how how to use Dynamics 365 customer service for a specific role or scenario, you can check out the learning pads. So they they give they give out learning pads available in the help support section of the app. So after development, there's usually a, a help support. Even even in an app, you want to get to Microsoft Teams, you can you can see that um, there's a there's a help and support section. You can also visit uh, the Microsoft Learn website to find free online courses and uh, certifications. So they also provide uh, certifications. And uh, if you want to learn how to customize or extend Dynamics uh, customer, uh, customer engagement for your specific needs, you can check out the documentation available in the Microsoft Docs website. You can also visit. Uh, you can also visit our Power Platform community website to find forums, and uh, of course, uh, forums like these that we we have um that, that we have actually brings out the light uh, of what our dynamics uh, customer engagement is as much as uh, we are going to dig deeper into it in closing in closing um remember 
in a world where customer expectations is higher than ever. Dynamics 365 customer engagement empowers businesses to deliver experiences that delight and inspire. It's not, it's not just about selling products, it's about building relationships that last a lifetime. Um, I think yeah, from there, I will come to the end. And uh, I thank you for for attending this session on customer engagement. I hope you I hope I really hope you found this uh, useful and informative. I'll open the I'll open the floor then for any questions. All right. Thank you, Noel. Noel. Anybody with a question? You can post it on the chat or maybe unmute and ask. Okay, we have a question from Chacha. Can CRM read data direct from a different DB? Can CRM read the data from a different DB? Perfectly well. So de depending depending on the database, there are, there are tools there there are tools to integrate uh, integrate the CRM and even uh, transfer data. The good thing about a customer or rather CRM, you can transfer data to any 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 database any database that database that is, and connect uh, and connect your processes there and it runs well. That is in terms of data. So you have it in Excel, you have it in any DB, you can you can transfer that. Okay, a follow up is. Uh... Are we using Dataverse or CDS? Right now we are using Dataverse. CDS came in, uh, I think, uh, with a with a with an earlier version, but right now we're using Dataverse. Okay. Then, um, so which are some of the tools of so, those tools? So, so some of these tools, I believe, you are talking about uh, the apps. That, are, that, are, that come with customer engagement. We have sales. We have a customer customer service. We have field service. Uh, field service is the one that uh, I showed you uh, quickly. We have um, we have uh, I think uh, Zoom, the the project service automation app. So from from your screen from your screen you can see the number of uh, uh, tools that are available. All right. So, can I be able to send like fifty thousand emails from Business Central, like on real time? Business Central, but I meant, I guess she meant customer engagement. Customer engagement. Email. Yes, uh, if you want to email fifty thousand emails. Fifty thousand emails. Of course, uh, you're going to send them, but of course, uh, it it follows a queue, so um, it will take a while from by by sending them. But yes, uh, it will it will send a batch after a batch up to the 50,000 emails yeah so it's it's possible but um i think the limit the limit it, it depends also with the limit of the data that is uh, that you've placed uh, while while setting up customer engagement there's a there's a there's a limit that it gives you so uh, the number of records that are that are there but um i think we have different on premise uh, has a limit of uh, is it uh, 10,000 while uh, online is unlimited Okay. I can I can read the other one. Uh, what's the difference between CRM and uh, Dynamics 365? Um, there, there's been versions, uh, version upgrade over time. So before uh, they, they were using the name uh, CRM, but there was there was urge to break to break it down to different uh, to different tools. And then with the uh, Microsoft moved all these uh, platform online. Uh, we have on premise. On premise, uh, it was CRM, but right now it is it is still the same CRM, but um, we are we are now calling it customer engagement with uh, different uh, tools in it. Um, I think uh, the the other one is a follow up question of uh, uh, if of of the fifty thousand emails uh, to clients and uh, plus attachment. So um, depends on the on the workflow that is created. Uh, you can create a workflow then send emails uh, send emails to the to a list of. Uh, to a list of applicants or other customers or clients. And so depending on the list of uh, depending on the list of clients, create a workflow that uh, runs automatically. Uh, the runs automatically and is going to send uh, the the emails. Um, I think uh, 
Chacha, Dr. Mairaria. You know, you've mentioned that there are some tools that can be used to enable CRM to read data from uh, different DB. Which are some of these tools? Because um, it is it is an um, it is it is an integration. So you have to create a bridge. You, you have to create a bridge. Um, if 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 the data is on Excel, it is easy to upload it. Uh, uh, customer engagement gives you a way to upload it. And I think I'm I'm trying to can CRM read data from different DB. And CRM data read, uh, read data from different DB. I think uh, you're you're following up with that uh, that question. And I said yes, it can read data from from a different DB. So you just have to connect. Uh, there are there are connectors. They are called connectors. So there are different connectors in uh, in Microsoft. You can you can get the connectors uh, depending on uh, which DB you want to connect it with. And with CRM, you can you can use a connector in order to connect it. So the tools are called uh, connectors. So you can you can get uh, if it is Azure uh, DB connectors, you can you can get that uh, connected. I hope I hope I've answered uh, your your answer, Chatha. Have you experienced an error on config packages when uploading Excel that reads that treats the file couldn't be uploaded at this time? Please try again. Yeah, of course, uh, errors errors are a lot. I've encountered I've, I've experienced a lot of. Uh, such errors, but it, it depends on the Excel that uh, you are uploading. So you have to export. You have to export an Excel first in order to import. So um, Microsoft Customer Engagement gives you a way to export at least a template, fill in all the data, and then later on come and upload it. So uh, of course the data has a different number of columns. It has, um, uh, of course, the the definition of each attribute. Um, some of them could be some of them could be a pickup list. Some of them could be a number. If if at all you fail to fill in as expected, uh, that is when you're going to get uh, the errors. But uh, look, I think it usually gives it, it usually gives out uh, the the actual um, issue or rather the st the stack stack trace of uh, where the problem is. So you can read from that, uh, Sharon. Okay. You can see the more questions. I hope I've uh, answered at least uh, your question satisfactorily. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for for that and being able to get to our query. So, what if somebody would like to get started with CE as a developer? Which path should they follow? Is there a learning path? Is there a guide to resources and all that? Yes, uh, so there there are a lot of guides that uh, Microsoft offers. Okay. So when when you when you when you go to uh, uh, Microsoft Docs, Microsoft okay. Docs uh, give, gives you access to all the all the resources. Uh, we have micro, Microsoft Learn, uh, all the resources too as well, and they are free. Uh, the only thing that I that are not free are the certifications. Some of them are free, some of them are, are paid. And uh, of course, the other ways I uh, get to Power Platform community, uh, like Dog, like Dog, the, the way uh, Liz was uh, talking about. And uh, then you learn more, you get to learn more. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Noel, for the engaging session. Uh, okay, today we have not spinned up to the end of the hour. It's always good to also have a brief session. So I believe it has triggered something and you have been able to uh, mm -hmm. learn a thing or two. So I don't know if Liz, you have anything to add towards our end. I don't other than just a huge thank you for sharing your expertise and knowledge and for joining and getting some learning today. I hope it was helpful. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we really appreciate Liz and uh, the DAG community at large. And uh, our next meetup will be next month, end of next month. We hope to be able to share the topic early enough. And uh, in your minds, just remember our physical meetup will be in July, later in July uh, this year. So we will meet together and take a few selfies, learn a lot, skill up and have some fun. So I hope Liz will be able to join. <laughs> 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 I would love that. I don't know that I can make it, but that was a good, good goal to have. <laughs> yeah, you still have like 
four months of preparation. So I'm yeah, really right. I'll be able to. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So we'll stop it at there, and uh, we'll update you on the next steps. And if you have any question, Noel has shared. You can share on the chat, Noel, so that it's, people can reach you on your social media in case of any update or question, so that uh, they can reach you there. All right, okay. so we'll close it from there and have a great evening and a good day to others like Liz. And I don't know if there's anybody else who is in the morning hours. They can have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you and bye. Bye, everybody.